me tell the Discord. Nobody knows I'm live. I just got back from the gym. back from the gym I didn't shower so sorry if I smell bad sorry if I smell bad you're still doing E3 what did they even show at hey, Ubisoft fucking sucks that's why I don't care about today tomorrow I'm gonna be covering Microsoft's E3 because they're gonna have Bethesda and they're gonna have Halo, and I think it's gonna be shit, but I'm still curious, so I'm gonna check it out. But Ubisoft is like shit tier. Uh, Ubisoft makes the worst fucking games, dude. They make the worst games. Fuck Ubisoft. Complete shit tier games, dude. Fucking Ubisoft sucks. <laughs> I don't know how long today's stream's gonna be. Probably an hour. So. Yeah, this is going to be a super short stream because I, I tried so hard to like do it early. I just got back from the gym, but I got to shower and go see my family, you know, because there's my family's having an event and uh, I'm going to go there. So, but I didn't want to leave you guys hanging on a Saturday, you know. It's Saturday, guys. Come on. I can't miss out on this. Can't miss out on a Saturday. Um, dude, I don't I don't really give a shit about viewers, dude. I don't fucking care. On Twitch, I don't care about viewers that much. On YouTube, I care way more than Twitch. Because Twitch, honestly, guys, I'm just chilling on Twitch, dude. Like, I do, I, on Twitch, it's not a chore, it's fun, it's like the fun, you know? On Twitch, it's not a chore. YouTube, on the other hand, is a chore, because I'll tell you why. YouTube, let me tell you what YouTube feels like. YouTube feels like you're always about to drown, and you gotta swim up as hard as you can. That's how YouTube feels. YouTube feels like uh, it's always an uphill battle, and you're about to fall any moment, right? But Twitch... Twitch is super chill, dude. Twitch is, you know. Twitch is chill, dude. Because here's the problem with YouTube is that YouTube is like, it always has to be an event. It's never just to chill. It's never just to, like, hang out with chat, you know? YouTube is always an event. It's always some kind of, like, big thing going on. Whereas on Twitch, Twitch, we're just chilling together, you know? YouTube got no chill. But YouTube algo sucks. So let me tell you guys something. Notice notice this, guys. My Twitch videos get like five times the views that my YouTube ones do. Right after stream. So right after stream, let's say I'm getting 300 views for four hours on YouTube. When I end the stream, the total views will be like 1,900. That's the unique views. On Twitch, it'll be 5,000. It'll be like 5,000 or more. And the reason for that is because on Twitch, you have more people cycling in and cycling out and you have more fresh faces watching your stuff because the algorithm's better. Whereas on YouTube, it's this pretty much the same amount of people who are watching you consistently. That's why YouTube streams are not made to be like, more than three hours because it's literally like people watch those start to finish you know that's what i learned about youtube and the reason is because 
It's the YouTube streaming al algorithm sucks and the streaming in general scene on YouTube sucks. There's a lot of things YouTube can do to improve it, but I think they're too they're the people who run YouTube are too um they're just old heads, dude. They're stuck in like 2007. The people who run Twitch are more like 2010s, you know? So they're more like they understand this shit more, you know? There's there's positives and negatives with that. It comes with positives and negatives. Yeah, I mean, yeah, Google is, yeah. YouTube is all about ad revenue. Yeah. I'm I'm sifting through the uh, Ubisoft E3. What the fuck is this Nintendo? I'm not seeing anything interesting. There's an Avatar game. Congrats. What else is there? Like what? I'm not. I'm not noticing anything on any uh, reports. You should probably check the Reddit very soon because this is not going to be a long stream. Uh, Far Cry. Uh, there. You guys. Did you guys know they made a Far Cry game? That's going to be in Cuba, and it's it's literally you play as a Cuban. Um, Miami kind of counter revolution. No, not that, but like you play as like you play as like a counter revolutionary on in Cuba. It's based off of Venezuela. Yeah, Venezuela, Cuba, or something like that. Something like that. You play as like a CIA agent, basically. You guys notice that all of the Ubisoft games are literally about playing as a CIA agent, overthrowing a sovereign country. And like, but it makes sense for like video game reasons, like why people want that, because think about it. What is gaming, right? Gaming is you, the player, against the world. So like, that's why dystopian games are like so, the trend because like you're pretty much alone and everyone's an enemy like civilians are an enemy everyone's watching you so it's like it works perfectly you know for like a video game for gameplay for gameplay reasons you know In Assassin's Creed, you play as the ultimate. Yeah, it's the same thing. Same thing. Assassin's Creed is a super soy game, dude. Super soy game. <laughs> what is this Twitter account? <laughs> Fuck is that? <laughs> oh my god, dude. A lot of drama. All games are soy. True, except Death Stranding. Alright, accept this training. Accept this training. Alright guys, we're driving 150 miles an hour. Usually our streams are about 50 miles an hour. Today's stream, 120 miles an hour. Alright guys, put on your seatbelt. Put on your seatbelt. Guys, put on your seatbelt. Put your PSP down. 
or turn the volume off. Close your Nintendo DS. Put your seatbelt on back there. You understand? Put your seatbelt on.
you say this is the musical aesthetic of infrared? No. <laughs> this is like music I listen to personally. Uh, based on whatever I'm feeling. It's not like the infrared. This is not the infrared aesthetic at all. Not the infrared aesthetic. This is my personal. How is this Eurovision? I don't know what you're talking about. You guys know I know how to speak Serbian, right? Where is the lid for this? Where's the lid? It's not chocolate milk, shut up. I found out what RTSG means. You motherfuckers, every RTSG in the chat right now. I literally know your secret. I know your secret. Hold on, I'll describe diet in a second. I know what it stands for now. <laughs> I win. I win. Real time strategy game. Literally, it's just people in Discord who are playing a real-time strategy game and they decided to make a fucking group. They, they're like, they, then, then they created a fucking group based on that. It's real-time strategy game. Fucking found out. I found out. Exactly. It was right under our nose. It was literally right under our nose. Do not soy you RTSG because Infrared owns RTSG now. Do not soy you RTSG. Do not soy you RTSG. That is property of Infrared now. Do not soy you them. It's our group now. We own it. Or I own it. Not you. I do. I'm the Sultan. I am Sultan of... Okay, now I'm going to tell you based versus... If you guys want to diet, I'm going to give you dieting advice if you want it, right? You can literally vibe how you want to look and you can change your cravings based on how you want to look like for example all this week i've been craving frozen yogurt peanut butter ice cream but then i thought about gynecomastia and i associated eating it with gynecomastia and i was like i don't want that shit. i'm gonna have some chicken kebab i'm gonna have some kebab because i'm you know what i'm saying i'm like a tiger I'm not a, I don't, that's not who I am. I'm not that. It's just not who I am. So decide who you are and eat accordingly. That's my advice. Decide who you are and eat accordingly. Like, and visualize who you truly are deep down in your heart. And just be true to that in terms of how you eat. Because, let me be real with you. Last week when I wasn't thinking, right now I'd be like, you know what? I'm gonna get McDonald's. Chicken nuggets, large fry, and a Big Mac. But now that disgusts me. Right now that disgusts me because I'm like, wait, that's not who I am. I don't, I'm not even craving that because it's not who I am. It's just not who I am. Getting fat doesn't give you gynecomastia. Well, I think I'm especially disposed to it, not because I don't have enough testosterone. But because I naturally have a very powerful chest. I naturally have always had a powerful chest. I literally was able to outbench anybody. Even before I started seriously working out. I'm born with a very powerful chest. Like very powerful. Few people have this chest. I'm sorry, few people. You can listen guys. You can work out as much as you want. 
Jeez. You can literally work out as much as you want. You will never have this type of chest. Literally, it's like a rooster chest. You will never have it. You will never have it. But on the on the flip side, so jeans are real? No. Not true. You can do things so that your kids will have them, maybe. Like, you can do things so that, like, two generations now, your kids will have them. That's ep epigenetic is not... Like, don't, don't get this twisted, guys. Even though I don't believe in genes... Let me tell you the truth. I don't want to give you guys false impressions. You, you will not radically transform how you look. You're not going to radically transform how you look. You're just not. I mean, maybe you can in terms of like weight loss and body changes, but in terms of face, it's not going to be a radical transformation. But you can look your best, and your best, you're, there's going to be nur shining on your face. People will see goodness on your face, and you will look good. You'll look good, but don't, don't, don't envy other. Don't look up, like don't look up Chad and be like, oh. Lysenko means that I can look like that, right? No. Maybe your kids, like five generations now, will look like that through epigenetics. But you are not going to look like that. And that's okay. You don't have to look like that. Because Chad is a tendency. It's not a fucking one or the other thing. You know, don't be don't be like Lysandro. Who's like, who's like looking at like specific details. Like, oh, what is the measurement of the fucking jaw? Don't, don't, don't think like that. Because you can be the best you are. Everyone can be the best of who they are. Don't compare yourself to others. Wear it on, wear who you are on your chest and be proud of it. And your kids will end up looking better. And their kids will end up being better. Understand? Don't think in terms of black and white shit because we're all we all look different you know we all look different but you can look the best you can be by having a good spirit a good attitude and love in your heart now me i don't have any love in my heart so don't be like me i'm a dark person right the reason i don't have love in my heart is because uh I've, I've been through a lot of shit, so you guys don't have to. That's how I think of it. You know? Unfortunately, here's the thing, though. Right now, in the state of... The state that I'm in right now, we're looking at very ugly kids. We're looking at very ugly kids. That's why I'm not going to have kids. Because, you know... I just don't have enough love in my heart. I don't. So, I'm, I'm not going to have kids because my kids will be very ugly. You know? They're going to be ugly because there's ugliness in my heart right now. You know? But I'm fighting, dude. I'm fighting. I'm fighting, dude. When people do ugly things to you, when people do ugly things to you, they're planting ugliness inside of you. You have to, you're fighting a battle. You have to fight it. But you can't let it take, take over you. You can't let it take you over you. There's no ugly gene? No, there isn't. It's, that's a, such a lie, dude. It's such a cope. You can't let the fucking... Um, the ugliness take over you. Who broke my heart? Your mom. She, bro she broke me. No one broke my heart. Nobody broke my heart. Like, I'm saying in general in my life, you know, like, in my life in general. In general. You can purify your spirit, but you only have so much to give, yeah. If, don't be like Lissandro and be like, oh, because of your measurements, you're ugly. There is no standard of beauty, there's none. Every standard of beauty you create in your head, you're gonna find an exception. Dude. There's fat dudes, and who look, they might like, look nerdy and shit, but you look at their face, and you can see a good person. You can see a good person, and you can see like, a, a based person. 
So there's no standard, dude. There's no standard. There's no standard. There is no standard, dude. Man, you haven't even been to jail yet? Yeah, you're right. Why am I bitching? You're right, dude. If you care for your children and genuinely love them, they will be beautiful, guaranteed. I don't... Here's what I think, actually. I think... Uh, I think, um, what am I saying? I think that the way children turn out is based on the spiritual state during while you're fucking. Like, while you and your partner, why am I saying partner? While you and the other person are creating babies, okay? <laughs> Like, what is, what is the reason why you're fucking? What's the reason why you're fucking? What's going through your head while you're fucking? What's your spiritual state? Like, what's the attraction between you? Your kid will end up based on that. I don't think it's random. See, the, the, the biotards and the gene tards, they want to tell us that it's like a random combination of DNA. I don't think it's random. I think it's determined, like, uh, based on... What brought the people together, you know? It's all based on vibes. Yeah. That's a beautiful thought. I know. And uh, do I have proof? No. But do I believe it? Yes. Why do I believe it? Because it makes sense to me, that's why. It makes sense to me. That's why I believe this. Thank you so much, Esoterical. Appreciate the five. Appreciate the five. Appreciate it. Focus too much on the outside, which makes them ugly inside. Yeah. Holy shit, what? But the female reproductive organs can select optimal sperm cells to meet the ova during inception as the spermatozoa cells travel up the... F what? If science was a mistake, dude. We need to go back to the Middle Ages. Why do we know that? We shouldn't even know that, dude. We shouldn't even know that. We're not even supposed to know that, dude. We're not supposed to know that. As humans, we're not even supposed to know that, dude. What a mistake science was. Stop regurgitating manosphere pseudoscience bullshit. Non-smoker, what the fuck are you talking about? How is that manosphere pseudoscience bullshit? You Are you stupid, dude? How is that manosphere pseudoscience? What is wrong with you? What did she say that's manosphere pseudoscience? What the fuck are you talking about? Oh, you're sub. I don't know why you're saying that. Think he's memeing? Is it a problem that humans can discover things that we maybe shouldn't know about? Paper win. When I raided that person, I saw you saying some dumb shit. Explain yourself. What do you have to say for yourself? I saw you. I was a dumbass. Well, you're not supposed to actually admit it. Amy Therese, Sim? Where's Amy Therese herself? She's not gonna come on until I'm like a 600 viewer Andy. 
What do you think of psychedelic renaissance helping achieve social reform? I think that's satanic. Super satanic. Australia? I don't care where she is physically. I'm saying in terms of... Never mind. Don't do psychedelics ever. Literally 1% of people who do psychedelics come out minimally human. I'm one of them. I'm one of them. The rest, they're evil and satanic people. People who do psychedelics are evil, satanic, heartless people. I swear they're evil. Evil people. They're wicked, evil people. They're ugly and their children will be. They're gonna turn ugly when they're 30, their children will be ugly. Stay away from them. Oz confirmed. Yeah, I already told you guys this. I've told you this before. Does marijuana count? Almost. Don't be smoking weed often, guys. Pot changes you. If you don't think it changes you, you're naive. There's no such thing as something harmless. There's no coincidences. Everything affects everything. And you know what? Those people who wear like radio tinfoil hats are probably right. Think about it, dude. All of these radio signals and shit and all the five, uh, 4G waves and mobile networks. And that is affecting us in some way. I don't know, radius, radius, cosmic radiation is affecting us in some way. There's so many invisible things that affect us in ways we don't know about. The difference between them and me is that I don't care enough or I don't believe you can resist it. Like, I can't wear a tinfoil hat, dude. I can't stop this from happening. There's no way for me to be free of it. It's going to affect us whether we like it or not. And there's nothing we can do about it. You know? Be one with the electromagnetic waves. Don't mention... I'm not mentioning that. I'm just saying in general. Like, there's cosmic radiation that affects us. There's just nothing we can do about it. Serbian music? It's Yugo music. Get it right. Look up electrosensitivity. There's all sorts of things, dude. Do you guys remember the time I told you that no one knows anything about electromagnetism still? Guys, study just briefly. You don't even have to get in-depth and know the math. Briefly study the history of electromagnetism. And you will see how simple it is. And how much people just still don't know. Electromagnetism is uh, not as complicated as you think it is. It's actually very elegant, beautiful, and simple. Guys, do not talk about topics that are not allowed on Twitch, okay? Would you say the limits of science, at least regarding physics, is just a matter of scale? No, I think limits are real and objective. Yeah, Tesla was like an esotericist. and party with the fam you're making me not want to go when you say that that's so cringe that's so cringe I, mean, I don't think i'm gonna go anymore fuck that you just you just ruined it for me i'm not gonna even go see them super cringe party with the fam fuck that what the fuck is that Like a 
Why would you say based? How is that based? That's fucking incest. What the fuck are you talking about? That's disgusting. That's literally disgusting, dude. Sorry, dude, that's some like suburban America shit. You know? Party with the family, guys! Nah, God, dude. How disgusting is that? Only Westerners are embarrassed of their families. I'm gonna pause this because this guy's a fucking moron. Hey, Hanzo Mu Maru. No one else says party with the fam. No one says that. No one says that. No one says that except weird, cringe, suburban Westerners. Shut the fuck up. That is disgusting. No one says that. No one says that. No one says that. You think fucking feudal families in Japan are saying, let's party with the fam, guys? No. It's all about cold, impersonal honor. Exactly, suburban Yakubians say that. That's what they say. Suburban Yakubians. Yeah, white people speaking the way they think black people speak is an automatic bread to flag. Super true. Logo had a good tweet. Only Asian girlfriends accept to cohabitate with your mom. No judgment. Well, that's different from saying party with the fam, dude. That's different. That's super different. Super different. Dude. Why am I listening to Serbian music? Because it's my stream and I'll listen to whatever the fuck I want. You ever thought of that? You ever thought of that one? Because I fucking feel like it. How about that? LARP? How is it LARP? You think this is political music? It's not political music. Oz, cheer up. I'm too old to be sad, guys. I'm too old to be sad. I'm sorry. Too far? I'll just ban you. Like, you're saying LARP? Like, this is political music? I listen... Hey, how is this political, dude? This is not political music. I don't fucking listen to political music. Dude. I don't listen to political music, dude. I need to update my playlist for the summer. You know? I need to update my playlist for the summer. Because all this shit is from winter and spring and shit. You guys know what something? I already have nostalgia for like five months ago. I already have nostalgia. Oh, you know something? This has been a super long year, dude. So much has happened. So much has happened. Long. Winter this year was boring? Not to me. <laughs> oh god, dude. I could cry. I could cry about how 
on my first stream in the winter, I had like 15 views, and then 20 views, then 30 views, then 40 views, week by week, and it keep getting more and more big. Oz, would you in any circumstance be an active guy, or just want to have a normal life? Listen, what you see is what you get. But I've thought about different paths. Like, I know that if I'm a family man, it's got to balance out. I can't do this crazy shit and be a family man. But, you know, I know now that I'm not going to be a family man. I'm not going to have a family. I'm going to be doing this. So this is... What you see is what you get, dude. This is what I'm doing. Putting my face out here. Living like this. But... That doesn't mean I'm using this as my cope, you know? A lot of people use it as their cope, and they just don't know how to be normal. I can be normal and interact with people normally, but I know that this is my path. You ain't gonna have 10 kids. I'm not having kids, dude. I'm not having kids. I don't think I am, at least. I don't know, maybe I will. Maybe I will. I just can't imagine someone who I'd want to have kids with, you know? That's the thing. You know, it's, and it's better that I'm saying this, because it's like, it's a, it's a lot better than people who are like... You know, they just want to have kids for its own sake, but then they grow to resent their wife, and they resent the kids too. And it's like, yeah. Not gonna do that. I just, uh... I just don't want to have kids. Hold on. Have kids with Pogan's mom? Yeah, true. Do you rob the next generation of your brilliance? Yes. Yeah. Hogan smearing China. I don't give a fuck about Hogan anymore. He's irrelevant. Hogan is literally a Umegalol irrelevant. Completely irrelevant. Stop talking about who you Yeah, exactly. Would you ever join a party under any circumstance? I don't know. I don't at this right now, no. Right now, no. Say the CPUSA starts growing. Let me tell you what's going to happen with, with that. If I ever join the CPUSA, they don't understand how the internet works. So they would start making me... They would start trying to exercise control over the streams. And what I can say and what I can do and how I can act. Um, I would rather exert influence from afar than be accountable to them. I don't want to be accountable to the CPUSA. I don't think they know what they're doing. I don't think they understand things like I do. And I don't expect them to listen to me, right? But people who see what I see and are just influenced by what I'm saying based on the merit and the quality of what I'm saying, I would much prefer them to do something with the CPUSA. I don't want to join the CPUSA because then I have to be accountable to them. I don't want to be accountable to them. It would start like, you know, putting a lot of red tape and kind of fucking up the streams. Think about it, guys. 
Why would I want to join them and have to listen to them? What have they done? How have they, what have they been able to do? Nothing. I'm the only one who can breathe, who's breathing relevance into them. At least as far as I know. I also be like, Bojev? Yeah, I, that's what I see too. I'm not gonna be some political leader, guys. What the fuck do I know about being a political leader? You know, she... He has decades of experience organizing people, being a leader, being a, accountable to people, knowing how to manage and, you know, he, he's got experience. So that's why he's the leader of China. I'm a fucking guy who streams and, you know, makes you kek W. So that's it. Don't, don't get it twisted. It, just because I'm the face, I'm a face, that means I'm going to be the leader. The leader is not the face. Sorry. The leader is not the face. Okay, guys? The leader is not the face. The leader is not the face. The face and the leader are not the same. Swick? Do I hate Swick? I remember you. I remember you, but I don't know if I hate you. Do I hate you? Out for red? Why the fuck is your name out for red? First of all. There's a guy in the chat named out for red. Why? Literally why? Like for what? What do people in the CPUSA think of Joseph? I don't fucking know. Stalin was not a face and a leader. He was, yes. But you know what Stalin would say? He would tell his son. He would tell his son, You think I'm Stalin? You think I'm that face? No, no man is. That's a symbol. I'm not that. Because Stalin wasn't a streamer. Stalin's face were paintings. They were, it was a legend. It was like, uh, posters. It was a name. He had nothing to do with that. Stalin the political leader and Stalin the face, two entirely different things. Two entirely different things. When in the age of streaming, the leader can never be the face, right? One has to come at the expense of the other. I'm spending time being a face, right? If I ever was a political leader, I can't be spending all this time just being a face. You know, I can't spend all this time you know, being streaming and shit. I'm gonna be doing real shit, right? I'm gonna be handling some real business. Also, we're talking about a country under siege. That has nothing to do with it. I'm not apologizing for the cult of personality. I think the Stalin cult of personality was beautiful. I think it was beautiful. I think it was beautiful that people had this symbol, the man of steel to rally around and draw their confidence from and believe in. I think that's a beautiful thing. I'm not going to apologize for that. There's nothing to apologize for. I don't find it dystopian or scary whatsoever. Now, George Orwell with his stupid idea of Big Brother, that has nothing to do with the reality of the Stalin cult of personality. The Stalin cult of personality was what allowed young people in remote villages to hold the local leaders accountable. They say, in the name of Stalin, we're going to stop your corruption and your abuse of power. Stalin was a symbol that empowered ordinary people to have the courage to challenge the people who were actually bossing them around and ruling over them. These officials who would be corrupt and try to abuse their power. Stalin was the hope of ordinary people that they could hold those people accountable without betraying the entire Soviet state. So I think... The Stalin cult of personality was a beautiful thing. And I'm even differing from Stalin himself on this thing, because Stalin was very wary of the cult of personality. He didn't trust it. He thought it was like, uh, you know, a very dangerous thing. But I think it was a beautiful thing. Maybe the USSR should have carved his face into a mountain. Oh, yeah, just like the Founding Fathers. Yeah, you're right. Nightbot needs to chill. 
Who the fuck programs Nightbot? Dude, Nightbot needs to chill. Nightbot, you gotta chill. Oh fuck, I demodded Nightbot. Hold on. Does Nightbot not work no more? Oh no, it still works. Okay, good. Yo, what happened to music like this? I'll tell you what happened. YouTube delete the VOD, so I couldn't play any music on YouTube. I couldn't play any of the music I liked on YouTube, because YouTube will just delete the whole VOD. That's why. Did you see the Virgil Texas accusations? No, and I really don't care. What's going on with Virgil Texas? Virgil Texas. Accusations. Got me too. I don't give a fuck. I don't. I never cared about Virgil. Hold on, what's this? Accused of grooming teen. Was she over 18? Or was she under 18? Because I think that's what matters. Oh, she was about to turn 16. What? the fuck? How old is Virgil? It's so fucked up. That's so disgusting. She was about to turn 16. He's in his... He's in his 30s? That's disgusting. That's absolutely disgusting. Even if he wasn't, it would be disgusting. She was 17. Still gross. Seven. Still gross, dude. Still gross. Even 18 is gross, honestly. 18 is... 18 is... Gross to me, you know. Nineteen is the minimum to me. To me, nineteen is minimum. Eighteen is too young. Just go for your own age range. Yeah, you're right. You're right, but there's, there's always like exceptions, you know. There's always exceptions. The accusation is from a kiwi farm copy pasta. Okay. How about teenagers only did I don't fucking care you know. The cult of personality in China, I know dude. We, that's why we made that video. We made a whole video about it. Probably got too close to being anti-establishment, so they got him. Accusation looks fishy. Oh, you don't think it's? I don't know. Then I'm not. I'm gonna stay out of it. It's none of my business. I don't know nothing about that. I literally don't know anything about that. I, I don't even know who he is. I don't even know who he is. I don't even fucking know who he is. Oh shit, I never checked the Reddit! <laughs> what am I crying about again? Oh yeah, checking the Reddit. Cause there's literally not enough time, dude. Wanted to write this thing. Thanks for the gold, kind stranger. Guys, F's in the chat for everyone who missed out on this super quick stream. Cause later today, people are gonna be like, Where's the stream? Is Han streaming today? Is Han streaming today? Oh, you missed out. You missed out. There was an hour window of opportunity. 
There was a window of opportunity for you to catch me streaming. Okay, before I go, I want to see a sea of gorillas and suns. The most gorillas and suns you can do as fast as possible. Let's see, let's see what we can do. Ready? I want to see 120 miles per hour gorillas and suns before we go. Let's go. 120 miles an hour. Let's go. Do you think there will be a mass exodus from social media? Yes. Holy shit, that's fast. Come on. We only got a minute left, guys. Keep them up, keep them up. We're gonna make it to the racing line. Thirty seconds left, guys. Boom. About to make it to the finish line. 120 miles. 150 miles. Holy shit, we're going so fast. Boom. Oh my god, I just avoided a crash. I'm gonna swerve it. Come on, 10 seconds. 10. We're gonna make it to the finish line first place. Oh god, there's something right behind us catching up. 9, 7, 8, 9, 1. Zero! We made it past the finish line! Woo! That was close. Bye-bye, guys!